Hello there, and thank you for coming by the Ramsey channel today. I'm glad that you did. And we are looking at the DC Tarot. It's kind of a novelty tarot deck. And uh, the depictions for the illustrations on the deck are characters from the DC Comics universe. Uh, I've always liked some of those characters, and I saw that this thing was coming out, and I pre-ordered it and thought, well, I'm going to give it a try. It's one of those inside editions decks. Some of their decks are great. Some of their decks are not so great. Some of them are flat out bad. But uh, from what I can see from the preview artwork on this one, I thought it looked pretty cool. And I have to say that I love it. They've done a great job with this, I believe. Uh, comes in this nice hard box. Kind of the standard kind of thing that... Uh, the Inside Editions decks comes in. has a pull ribbon, and here is the booklet that comes with it, and it's a nice booklet. Uh, if you're like me, you won't know all of these characters because you don't read all of the DC comic books, probably. You don't probably read everything that's in the uh, DC universe, although certainly you'll be familiar with a lot of them. I really wanted this deck because it has a lot of Green Lantern reference in it, and Green Lantern is by far my favorite comic book, other than the Archies or something, but the Archies is its own independent thing. I like that whole Archie Rivendell world with Betty and Veronica and Jughead and that whole group, but um, I like a lot of these DC characters, and I just thought this looked like it would be a fun novelty deck to have, and the book is very good, and it gives you a little background on each one of the characters that are on the cards and uh, then gives you uh, just, you know, some, some basic meanings. It's not a deck that I'm really going to use much as a tarot deck, but just more of a novelty and a collectible item. So let's pull the cards out. And here's what the inside of the box looks like. It's pretty, isn't it? And we'll just take a look through the cards. We see there's our full card. That's Harley Quinn there. Isn't the artwork nice? I thought the artwork was really nice. Oh, here's what the backs of the cards looks like. Here's the DC label on it. DC logo. And our magician. Uh, they're, it, it's certainly not a traditional deck at all, as you can see. Uh, I thought it was just really cool looking. I thought Poison Ivy here was a cool choice for the Empress because, you know, she's plant life and collected connected to the earth we usually see her in a field of wheat but hey i'm okay with the poison plant there's our aquaman as the emperor it's pretty neat isn't it i think i like i like the colors on this i think the card stock on this one is really good it's uh it's not exactly shiny and it's not exactly uh matte it's somewhere in between it's really it's more matte than it is glossy that's for sure got some gay representation here for our lovers which i thought was really cool the flash makes a good chariot i think aren't they, aren't these just really really cool i mean i i think they're i think they're as cool as they can be uh you know and they've definitely got some classic tarot feel all here how jordan the uh Green Lantern, there's my guy, and yeah, the is our Wheel of Fortune. Aren't these just really beautiful? We'll see a lot more Green Lantern stuff in this deck, too, as we go. There's our Wonder Woman is our Justice, which makes some sense, and the Plastic Man is the Hanged Man. That's a good use of him, I think. Somebody put some thought into this deck, uh, and it just, you know, turned out looking really good. And... I'm glad. Uh, I think I paid, I got it on a pre-order, and I think that I paid $20, $22 for it or whatever. Its issue price is $24.95. Look at that joker there is the tower. I'll see for a chaos agent there. And there's our Supergirl as the star. Cool, isn't it? And Catwoman. Is our moon. I love this sun card. There's Superman is our sun card. Isn't that neat? And of course, the Dark Knight Batman is Judgment. 
And then for whatever reason, Swamp Thing is the world card in this one. Not exactly sure why. Now we're going into our court cards, our suited cards. The King of Wands and our Queen. Got a little bosomy action going on on our Queen there. Our Knight of Wands. Shazam. Shazam's another one of my favorite DC comic characters. I really like Shazam. And Stargirl is our Page of Wands. And then we get into... This is the numbered cards. There's our Ace of Wands. The two. The three. The four. The five. Six. Aren't these pretty? Seven. Eight, nine, and our ten of wands. And now we go into what's probably my favorite of the suited cards. Here we'll go through these court cards first. Here we got old Lex Luthor is our king of pentacles for some reason. This is our queen of pentacles. And here our knight of pentacles again, a green lantern. And the whole pinnacle suit, as you are about to see, is Green Lantern themed. The lantern and the Green Lantern ring, the ring projects the image of the pinnacles for our suit. Aren't these gorgeous? You know, I would absolutely love to see an entirely Green Lantern tarot deck. They could do that. There's certainly enough characters in that Green Lantern universe that they could do a complete tarot deck. But... This is probably as close as we'll ever get to that kind of a situation. But uh, I, I, I just love Green Lantern. Green Lantern has just always been kind of a comic book hero of mine. I even like the movie version with Ryan Reynolds that a lot of people seem to complain about. But I think, I think this is really good for the Suit of Pentacles at any rate. I, I, I got to give it to Inside Editions. I, I started out really kind of hating their decks. They were doing a lot of that Disney kind of stuff and really some... I thought a lot of their decks had some pretty lame and lazy artwork, but they've been knocking out of the park right recently. I like their horror tarot. I love their Lord of the Rings tarot. That's turned out to be just about my favorite tarot deck that's come out this year. And now they've got this gorgeous... DC Comics Tarot, and we're into our suit of swords. Uh, I, I think they've really stepped their game up quite a bit. You know, Robin on his bike for our Knight of Swords. He would have been a cool chariot court. I'm not sure why they didn't use Robin for the chariot card, but hey, whatever. I'm not complaining. Like I said, this isn't a deck that I bought for any kind of heavy use or anything. I just bought it because I thought it looked cool and that it might be cool. And as it turned out, it really is cool. Here we are into our suit of swords. Real traditional style. Uh, three of swords there. And really traditional here too. Uh, the, the, I think they've done a good job with the... With the uh, suited cards. They're, they're, they're readable. They're not just images slapped on. They've, there's thought that has gone in to the, uh, the suit cards, and I think they look great. I really do. There's our nine, and finally our ten. And now we go into our final suit, the suit of cups, a watery suit, although Amazonian here doesn't look particularly watery, does she? Knight of Cups and the Page of Cups. In fact, they look more fiery to me than watery, but hey, what are you going to do? I love this Ace of Cups, though. I think that's really, really gorgeous and well done. I just love that whole fountainy imagery. It's really beautiful. 
I think our Two of Cups is great in this one, too. Definitely gives you that feeling of union. They just, they just knocked it out of the park with this. I, you know, I didn't know what to expect when I ordered it. I thought, this looks cool, and I will probably like it, so I'm going to go ahead and pre-order the thing and see what happens. And then when it got here... I was it, it it exceeded my expectations you know you never know what you're getting when you're buying a brand new deck that nobody's reviewed and that just has a few images available and that you know you're 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 taking a gamble every time you order one but I think in the case of this DC tarot the gamble paid off and there you have it that's the deck and I'd probably give it an 8 or a 9 out of 10. I'd give it high marks. I like it. So, is it a deck I'll use all the time? No, I may never read with it. I don't know. But I, it's one that I kind of wanted in the collection, and I'm glad I got it. So, there you go. That's the DC Tarot deck. And I thank you for watching this video. And I will see you on another video again in the near future. Thank you for watching this one. Bye-bye.